everybody. Hello, hello, hello. You guys, you're watching Chomp on this with me, Kim Lai. Um, if you guys are there, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Make it rain with some flying thumbs. Um, you guys, <laughs> yay! Um, okay, you guys. Now, Fourth of July, as I'm sure everybody knows, is less than a week away, and there are so many, so many recipes. Um, for Fourth of July, they incorporate the red, white, and blue colors. Everything is super patriotic. Um, oh, also, real quick, you guys, just to let you know, if you want to ask a question or leave a comment, make sure to type the at symbol. I, don't, I do that thinking you can see that. <laughs> type in the at symbol and then the word host and then type out your question or comment and um, I'll be able to see it up on the screen. Okay, so I want to show you guys how to make um, two super simple, super pretty, and super tasty desserts. Now, a lot of times, I know people like you'll see these at different events. Um, we're doing an ice cream sandwich and then we're doing a red white and blue triple and both of these are beautiful in presentation and both of these are yummy and super easy to put together but i think a lot of times you see them and they just look so pretty you think oh my god that probably took so much work it actually doesn't take a lot of work at all so let's get started with the ice cream sandwich the sandwiches sandwich i've always said sandwich okay so all, <laughs> so all you're going to need for this one, you guys, is your favorite ice cream. You're going to need some cookies. And today I got dark, um, the chocolate chip, oh, I thought you could see those, chocolate chip, um, chocolate, chocolate chip cookies. And then I have some sugar cookies. And we're going to need some festive sprinkles. So because this is 4th of July, we're going to use red, white, and blue sprinkles. Bam! blue sprinkles and we have some red sugar red sugar sprinkles now and you need a ice cream scoop okay so i'm going to go ahead and make a few of these for you guys and we're going to put them in the freezer and while they're freezing then we'll go ahead and start our triple but you want to get these made up ahead of time put it in the freezer so they actually they'll harden harden so that way when you put them out um for people to eat they don't melt immediately. All right, so I need to, let's see, we're gonna lay out some cookies. If you guys can see this, yeah. We're gonna lay out some cookies and hold on how simple this is. But I do have to tell you guys, get your favorite ice cream, well, using vanilla because red, white, and blue. But yesterday, my girlfriend Deb sent me a recipe for banana, homemade banana ice cream. And she's like, Kim Lai, what if we put vodka in it? Like, oh, right? So you guys, you can make these. You can put rum in your vanilla ice cream. You could put vodka. You could put chambord, raspberry liqueur. The possibilities are endless. Okay, dry my spoon. Now I'm gonna scoop up. Now I'm just using regular vanilla ice cream, okay? And you always want to make sure you get the large cookie. The tiny ones are too small. They're going to be like little Oreos. So you always want to make sure you get the large cookies. You can make the cookies yourself too, you guys. You know, you can make your own dough and use like a star um, cookie cutter. And you can even put like blue food coloring and red food coloring, make uh, the stars, blue and red stars with vanilla ice cream in the middle. Ugh. I told you, possibilities are endless. Um, but today, I'm, oh, 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 I'm using vanilla. Let me get this out of the way. You can see it. Uh, these are going to be so yummy. Pack it as thick, as high as you want. Oh, yeah, I guys can see it. Perfect. Oh, no, 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 this way, this way. <laughs> okay, then get some more here. 
Now see, after we freeze these, you guys, we're gonna then wrap them in wax paper, and then you're gonna display them. See, I've got a cute little container here that you're gonna display them in. You can use whatever container you like. <laughs> um, I wanna make, hold on, hold on. Maybe pick up my dish bag. I wanna make six of these. So we'll go ahead and get the ice cream in it. Now, see, this. the reason you have a cup here with warm water is so you can soak your ice cream spoon in it, which allows the ice cream to come off easier. All right. Now, we're going to put the tops on. Yeah, what is that? Be careful not to break the cookie. Ugh. All right. Push them down very gently. Mm -hmm. Look, look, look. Look at, they're already so pretty. Okay, there's gonna be three more. Push them down, push them down. Sweep it aside here. Okay. Now I've got a little knife. I'm gonna, I want them to be even. So I'm just gonna make sure you just press it in there and do it like that. And gosh, there's just so many different ways to customize these. Who doesn't love ice cream sandwiches? Cookies and cream. Oh my god. Yeah, it's cookies and cream, basically. Um now, watch you guys. You're gonna take your sprinkles. I'm gonna go ahead and put these three in the freezer because they're already starting them out. Okay, let's go and use I'm gonna use the red, white, and blue. So you're gonna take your cookie just like this, and I'm doing it over a bowl, you guys, because what does not fall onto the cookie, I can reuse. Spin your cookie around. Bam! Look at that. Ah! Look how simple that one is to create, and it's gonna be so delicious. Now I want to do some blue, blue little jimmies here. Okay, this doesn't necessarily look like Fourth of July. This looks like a Cookie Monster cookie. <laughs> we got some blue in. I think I'm going to throw in some red, just because. Yeah. Wow, that came out very quickly. Red, white, and blue. Okay, now, some more Jimmy's here. Red, white, and blue. Okay, I really like the red, white, and blue Jimmy's, especially with the, the brown cookie and then the white on the inside. Now, I have a plate that's been sitting in the freezer because I want it to be super, super cold. And then I'm just gonna set the ice cream on the plate. And it's gonna sit in there for about 15 minutes while we make the triple. Okay, but I am gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do three more, but I'm gonna put it in for now. The longer you leave them out, well, they'll melt because it's ice cream. Okay. Let's see, maybe I'll do two more. And this time we'll use the sugar cookies. You guys, you can use lemon cookies. Um, um, whatever flavor profile that you're going for, you don't have to use vanilla. You could use coconut. Coconut ice cream, that's a white ice cream. Especially if you're trying to do red, white, and blue and you want to use a white ice cream, there's coconut ice cream that's white, um, banana ice cream, pineapple, pineapple ice cream. You can even use a yogurt. You don't even have to use ice cream. You can use yogurt. Um, and then with the cookies, the sugar cookies. I was watching some guy make things the other day, and he, oh my goodness, he even put, like, he took the, 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 the star cookie cutter that he was using for the cookies, and then he put it on a plate and filled it up with ice cream, put it in the fridge so it hardened, and then he took the cookie cutter out, so not only were the sugar cookies star-shaped, but the ice cream was star-shaped, and then, of course, he put the sprinkles on. And I was like, whoa! I mean, they were so pretty, like almost too pretty to eat. Okay, 
Now I want to do, oh, I want to do black and white, black and white. Oh, so friends, the cookie. Look at this. Okay, now you cannot tell me that this was difficult. Like, not at all. I think sometimes we tend to forget until we see it again and then again that it's like, oh yeah, we could do that. Or, oh, you know, we can make that really quickly. I have to keep a list of like different appetizers and quick appetizers and quick desserts and quick meals. Because when I'm in a pinch to, and I need to make something or bring something to a party because it's homemade, I, you know, I, I do like, I prefer making things than going to the store and actually buying something. And so I always keep a list of things that are simple to make um, homemade that I can bring with me because I forget. You guys can see the inside of my cabinets, like no joke. There are so many little post-its with dinner ideas, breakfast ideas, <laughs> quick, easy dessert ideas. So look at these. See, these are even cute too, you guys, with the black and white alternating colors of the cookies. You can even do chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies are good too. Okay, let me get my plate back. Now, okay, woo, woo. Put a piece on here. We're gonna let them freeze. Look, yeah. See, most of no time at all, right? 10 minutes, maybe a minute. Okay, in the freezer they go. Oh, get the ice cream back. Now you guys. We're going to make triple. Triple is custard and fruit. So usually you see it, it's um, usually you see it in glass containers because it's a pretty dessert and it's just layers of custard and fruit and whipped cream or pudding and it's just layers, layers and layers of goodness. Okay, let me get some stuff cleaned up. And we will get set up for the triples. I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I'm pretty sure Mom is looking forward to the 4th. I happen to love the 4th of July. It's one of my favorite holidays. And it's also my little baby, Aisha, who's my little schnauzer. It's her birthday. And she will be 13 this year, so I'm kind of really excited for that. Okay, so for the triples, this is what you're going to eat. Pound cake. So that's a pound cake here. Pound cake. I'm like, can you not see it? I don't think you can see it. And we got strawberries. Ah, we got blueberries. And Vanilla pudding. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be so fun to put together. Okay, there's my spread. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to show you guys. I used. Um, you can use custard. You can use pudding. You can use Cool Whip. Um, you can use homemade whipping cream. Whatever your preference is. I'm trying to show you guys how to make super simple, quick desserts that are pretty and that you can customize this one. Of course, it's for the 4th of July. So I used a non-fat, no, I'm sorry. It's sugar-free instant pudding and pie filling. Now this is, oh, French vanilla. And it comes chocolate, pistachio, lemon. You can get these in all flavors, but you mix it with two cups of non-fat milk and it sets in like five minutes, five minutes. Simple, right? Okay. So we've got my vanilla pudding. Now, you guys, I'm using strawberries and blueberries, but you can use any kind of berry. You can use red raspberries, you could use black raspberries, you could use um, cherries, so any kind of fruit. But when I went to the market, they got some great, look at how yummy and huge these blueberries are. Oh. And then they had amazing strawberries. So I went ahead, I washed the strawberries last night and then took off all of the tops. 
So all we have to do today is slice them. Ooh. Oh my God. Who does not love the smell of strawberries? It's like summer. Okay, right now everything smells like summer to me. Everything. Oh, no, no, no. And then pound cake. Now, you guys can use sponge cake. You can use angel food cake. Um, you can use vanilla cake. But I like pound cake because it's a little more dense and it's going to hold up to the pudding. And I don't like when I've used angel food cake in the past, the pudding has made the, the angel food cake a little bit soggy. And I'm not a fan of um, soggy cake. Alright, so this is all you need. You have your pound cake, you have your fruit, and you have your pudding, okay? Now, this is all you have to decide. Are you going to make individual triples? Are you going to make a four to five person triple? <laughs> or are you going to make a really super large triple? Guess what you are making today? <laughs> Four to five. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use. Now this is just, you guys. This is like a vase. Um, you can, you can get these at Michaels, at Walmart, at Target. These are vases. So yes, lots of uses. This is actually a bowl, but it looks like a stupid vase, huh? Uh huh. Okay, we have to get our pound cake cut up, and you're gonna cut it up into little cubes. Um, oh my gosh, I just realized red and blue, red and blue. Okay. We're going to cut a pound cake into cubes. This is here so you can see there. See how dense it is? Ugh, I love that. It reminds me of like, you know, really thick, dense, like Mexican cake. My favorite. I made a cake one time for a friend of mine. Well, Lisa, well, okay, wait. So we were at Lisa's house for a party and her friend, oh my God, I forgot. I forgot his name, but um, it was his birthday. And so, oh my gosh, I spent so much time making this beautiful cake. And well, I don't think anyone else appreciated how dense the cake was. Okay, hold on. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so, oh, I think his name was Eric, maybe. Ah, okay, but the point is, not everybody likes dense cakes. I love them. <laughs> okay. I went ahead and got two, I think these are like 10 ounces each. I'm going to chop them up. I don't necessarily like to use the ends because I want them to all be consistent. <laughs> so someone else can munch on these little ends later. All right. Chop it up. See? Pound cake. Pound cake smells like summer. Everything right now in my house smells like summer. Mmm, 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 mmm. Um, I love, 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 love. Okay, so there's our pound cake. Now, I want to get the strawberry sliced up. I only want to slice these in half because I still want to, um, I still want to keep the, the strawberries are fairly large, but I don't need them so large that obviously people can't. Like that's a big bite. Just gonna chop them in half. Just like this. Don't forget to wash your fruits. Take off the green stems on the top. Now see if you guys just use like raspberries. I mean, you don't really, obviously you don't have to cut them. Just like, look, like the blueberries are the perfect size. I'm not going to have to cut these at all. So if you want to save yourself some time, you could also just get berries of black raspberries with the red raspberries. Um, what are some like black raspberries, black berries, red raspberries, cherries you're going to have to pit. 
Um, that I think would take even longer than just cutting them the strawberries with the knife. Okay. Let's get these some. I'm just gonna chop up a few more. You can also make your own um, whipped cream. You know, they have those, um, what are those silver, those silver containers with the, um, gosh, what are those? Like you put your, you put your, your cream in and then you put the CO2 thing in and then it goes like that and it's like, boom, you have whipped cream. And then you can customize it too by adding in different flavors. I was on a, a brunch the other day. Um, Chambord, which is a raspberry liqueur, is, you know, kind of upping their marketing game and trying to make themselves, you know, more present. So they invited a whole bunch of, um, not a whole bunch, there was 10, of um, some LA-based, like, fashion bloggers and food bloggers. And we had a full day of them taking us around and showing us, like, how to, like, really step up your brunch game. And so everything was pretty much made with Chambord. All the drinks were made with Chambord. We went to Surface for cooking class, and the appetizers were made with Chambord. So it's it was so interesting to see so many things made with it. But we had like a Punch Royale, which was super yummy. And then we had um, a, a Chambord margarita. That was yummy. And then Chambord mixed with champagne. That was yummy. So you can make your own <laughs> The whole point of that is to tell you that you can make Chambord with cream. You can flavor your whipped cream with so many, so many different options. Okay. There we go. Just use, we have enough. Okay, see? Bum, bum, bum. Oh my gosh, red, white, and blue. Ah, amazing. I love it, I love it with things for now. <laughs> okay, now. I'm going to get my bowl. Now this bowl, you guys, is going to feed um, four to five, yeah, four to five people. I feel like I look so blurry. Huh. Okay, anyways, this is going to do um, four to five people. So what we're going to start with is pound cake. We're going to do pound cake first. First layer is pound cake. You have to have a bottom. So you're just going to take, I want to do it so you can see, there, whoop, whoop. Okay, so, going to fill up the bottom with your pound cake. <laughs> I'm going to watch it on the screen and so I can see what you guys are seeing. All right. Oh, this is the perfect size because I might, I could have easily, there's no way I would have been able to fill that one with two small pound cakes. Okay. Pound cake is your first layer, and then we're going to do a layer of pudding, okay? You can do the fruit. I want to do, I don't want the fruit to like fall in between the pound cakes, so I'm going to go ahead and do, okay guys, let's turn that one off. I'm going to go ahead and do um, the pudding. So just first laying it in. Oh, let me just make sure. Hold on. Okay, guys, this is, even though this is like sugar-free uh, instant, it's so rich and creamy. Make sure, though, when you guys are whisking this with um, two cups of cold milk, really whisk it. Because this, if you don't whisk this really, really well, it gets to taste a little grainy, okay? So I use my Breville, my um, hand immersion blender that has the whisk attachment. Ugh, yes. No grainy taste. So I'm just going to drizzle a little on the top. Okay, I'm going to watch me, not what you guys are saying. <laughs> okay, just a little bit on the top. So, first layer, the pound cake. Second layer, you see how it falls in between? Oh, I love it, I love it. Okay, and then I'm gonna do some strawberries. <laughs> strawberries! Oh, yeah. Oh, the colors, so pretty. All right, then I want to do a little bit, um, I'm going to add another layer now, pound cake. Okay, you guys, there is no, like, 
absolute right way to do this. You can layer however you like, but but it's a good idea for your first layer to be the cake. That way, um, you know, there's something to grab when you're spooning it out. <laughs> you need like a thick, heavy bottom. <laughs> okay, one more pound, okay? Look at that. And then I'm gonna just drizzle on a little more pudding. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this, perfect size, perfect size. Then I'm gonna take my blueberries. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, it's amazing! Get my blueberries. And, oh yeah, I'm on the side there so you can see them through the glass. A lot of times, oh yeah, all the time. All, all times, all the time. Oh Lord. Anytime you see this dessert, it is generally gonna be in a glass container. Because the layers are so pretty, you kind of want to see that. That's the whole thing of making a triple. All right. <laughs> okay, now, mm, let's see. I want to do another, a little more. Wait, no, I'm going to add a few strawberries. See, I told you, there's, you can do whatever you want. Mm. Um, oh, gosh. That's like cool. It's just like that. But I feel like I need to add another. Well, I guess I don't have to add another layer. So look, I have the pound cake, I have the pudding, and then I have a layer of strawberries, and then I have more pound cake, and then I have more pudding, and then I topped it with the blueberries and the strawberries, which, well, I think I'm gonna like call this one good. This is pretty. Oh, yeah. I love it, I love it. Of course, top it off with a few more strawberries. Okay, you guys, you pull this out after your dinner break or for the July. Who this is I just I, I just love it. I just think it's so pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful. Alright. I'm gonna leave this here. Again, look at you can do little individual cups or a really big triple. Alright? So I'm gonna leave those there. We got oh mm, mm, mm. I have to go. The ice cream sandwiches out now because we're gonna wrap them in wax paper. Uh, let's get this cleaned up. All right. Okay, ice cream sandwiches. Now, when you freeze them again, it makes them easy to like transport. You need to bring these over to someone's house. I'm not necessarily sure how ideal that is. Um, if you're having a party at your own place, obviously you can leave them in the freezer and pull them out. Um, pull them out when it's time to actually display them, and uh, they aren't going to melt too quickly. So this is how we're going to. Wrap up. I'm gonna take some wax paper. Okay, bye bye triple or moving triple aside. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna just take some wax paper. I think I have, oh yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot. You guys, for the July, you have to decorate your triple. So look at, oh, now. <laughs> now it's complete. Oh. Look at, we are very patriotic with our triple. I love it, yeah? Okay, so triple's there. <laughs> okay, now for the ice cream sandwiches. So you're just gonna take some wax paper and you're gonna take your ice cream sandwiches just like this. All right. Uh, I'm gonna turn it upside down. It's like if you're wrapping a gift, all right? I'm just going to fold over just like this, tuck it under, and I'm going to put a little tape just like that. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, we're going to wrap these up upside down because you are, okay, <laughs> hold on. I just realized there's no real upside down. Look. <laughs> okay. 
The folding over doesn't matter then. Once I hit keep it on there. So I just fold it over just like that. Add a little stick. Aww. Just, uh, oh, I love it when things look so delish. Okay. See, you bring these. Pull these out at one of your parties or bring the triple with you to your next party and people are going to be like, oh my god, how long did that take you to make? It's like, oh, you know, I'm just slaving away in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, you got to tell people your secrets. Oh, ugh, my finger got stuck in the crane. Don't got to give away your secrets. Okay, I'm going to do the same that. So... Once you get them all wrapped, okay, I'm really digging, you guys, like, I am not joking. This is freaking phenomenal. I love, not even, no. Oh. I love the brown with the white and then the blue, uh, red, white, and blue sprinkles. Just looks so good. All right. Yeah, okay. fold it over. Put a sticker. We've got to shape it. Okay, now check this out. So you take a cute little container like this, okay? This is from Michael's, cute little container. You put a little bit of red, white, blue ribbon on it. Fill it up, fill it up with some tissue paper to give it a little bit of height. Okay, fill it up, fill it up. Hmm. Just like that. Oh, there, now you can see. All right? And then, oh, you know what? Maybe use red tissue paper because then you'll be able to see the ice cream sandwiches better. But they are just going to lay the ice cream sandwiches, sandwiches in just like that. Boom. Well, boom. It's like that. <laughs> okay. Let me guys. These are two... Oh, oh, if I had chalk, I could have written right here. Happy 4th of July, number. Okay, here are two, mm, two super simple 4th of July desserts. Anybody can whip these up. And you can make them as simple as you want. Like for the, the, um, the ice cream sandwiches, you can buy the cookies already pre-made. The ice cream obviously will come in the carton or... I mean, to simplify, so instead of making ice cream from scratch, they go out buy the ice cream and then get the sprinkles. And all you gotta do is assemble them and stick them in the freezer. Now with the triple, again, it's like you could buy the fruit that doesn't need to be cut. Um, use the instant vanilla pudding, so it like is literally instant. <laughs> and then buy um, pound cake that's uh, that's already made. Obviously, if you buy the pound cake, it's already made. Um, but all of these things can be made from scratch as well, but it's just going to take a little bit um, more time. Okay, so I want to thank you guys <laughs> so much uh, for tuning in today, and uh, I hope you really, really enjoyed these 4th of July super simple, super tasty um, sweet treats. Again, ice cream sandwiches and a red, white, and blue triple. Make sure, if you guys have not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe so you get notifications of when the shows air. And make sure to go to all my social media channels. Everything is under at Kim Lai Yingling. Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter. Um, thank you guys so much. And I hope everyone has an amazing 4th of July. And I'll see you guys next week. We're going to be making um, double, wait, twice cooked, deep fried, Chicken and pork, meepo. <laughs> okay, you guys. Mwah. Ciao. Thank you. Happy 4th of July. And we'll see you guys soon.